Good afternoon. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It is 12.14 in the afternoon on Monday, September 1st. And I believe it's Labor Day. So happy Labor Day, 12.14, Monday, September 1st. We have an earthquake warning for the San Francisco Bay. Let's take a look at our forecast and uh, see what's going on here. All right, we have a few uh, forecast models we're going to take a look at. This is uh, the first one. You can see the risk is centered kind of in the northwest portion of the San Francisco Bay, but definitely very high risk across San Francisco Bay. Looking for a 6.0 plus earthquake uh, as possible in the San Francisco Bay today, September 1st. And here's another forecast model. That's interesting. It's the same exact spot right there in the northwest San Francisco Bay. And here's another one, very similar location, a different forecast model, also the northwest portion of the San Francisco Bay. Here's a, a high risk here in the area around Berkeley as well. So we're looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next uh, about 12 to 18 hours, most likely today, September 1st. And uh, please warn your friends and family. I haven't done a video for a while because we're working on many different uh, forecast models trying to keep things straight, trying to perfect things after almost uh, 21 years of research. We have now 324,000 followers, 324,000 followers. It's a lot of followers on social media. And uh, 21 years of earthquake research, we have a warning for the San Francisco Bay. Strong earthquake is likely sometime today. Please warn your friends and family. Um, we did have a warning for Kodiak Island. You can see this uh, very high risk, 95% uh, risk in the Kodiak Island. And what happened? We got a 5.0 and a 4.7, uh, just a little bit southeast of Kodiak Island. So that warning uh, panned out uh, according to forecast. Still very high risk in there all day today in the Kodiak Island area, a little, little bit south of uh, Anchorage, very high risk there as well. So let's look at this again. Very high risk in the San Francisco Bay on all these different forecast models. Looking for a 6.0 earthquake or larger in the San Francisco Bay uh, as possible sometime today. Please warn your friends and family in Japan. Very high risk across the north in Aomori, in Morioka, Hokkaido, and Sapporo, in the northern portion of the Japan area. Uh, today, September 1st into September 2nd. And of course, over at quakeprediction.com, we update these maps every day. We're now doing um, California, Japan, Italy, Greece, Alaska, Washington State, and Central America, which includes many countries. Here's, a, again, that forecast for Alaska, very high risk in the uh, Kodiak Island area. And there's the bunch of quakes that are now hitting that area. The largest of them is the 5.0 and 4.7. In Italy, not that much risk across Italy right now. Just uh, down here in the southern portion, there's 70% uh, risk down near Naples, 75% off of uh, Sicily. Pretty quiet in Italy right now. In Greece, moderately high risk in uh, west central Greece uh, today and tomorrow. And here's uh, an interesting situation in uh, Nicaragua, southeast El Salvador and northern Costa Rica, we could get a 5.0 earthquake in that area sometime today. So take a look at that, uh, quakeprediction.com. You can see when we get in a bunch of earthquakes, there's 36 significant earthquakes in northern Nevada. And our research indicates that usually you'll get a strong earthquake northeast of where a, a major or a strong earthquake is going to occur couple days before the other quake. So this uh, 4.8 earthquake hit on the 30th, 31st, 1st. Here we are two days after that. And you can see this, it's kind of strange. These rivers run northeast to southwest. And then the river, uh, the roads follow that pattern as well. And then usually, so there's something going on underneath the surface there. That's uh, why they have a, a quake will hit to the northeast, and then a quake will hit to the southwest a couple of days after that. That's through history, that kind of um, 
you see that in history happening all the time. A quake will hit up to the northeast, and then one hit down in the southwest a couple of days later. So again, looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay, check out quakeprediction.com. Please warn your friends and family. Let them know on Facebook or Twitter. Again, 324,000 followers, over 21 years of earthquake research at quakeprediction.com. We're here to help you get through the quakes around the world. We will be continuing to um, have other countries as well coming up soon. But uh, for now, we're just uh, forecasting for Greece, Alaska, Washington State. Oh, did we show that? I don't think we did, did we? Um, I don't know. Anyways, if you can go over to, uh, see if I can pull that up really quick over to the Washington quakeprediction.com. We also have a forecast map for Washington state, Oregon, and Idaho. You can see a very high risk up in Vancouver area, uh, Northwest of Seattle and Western portion of Oregon right now, very high risk in that area of, um, portion of uh, Washington State. So we're doing that state as well. Thanks again for following us at quickprediction.com. Uh, pre please uh, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> please subscribe if you can over at Twitter, uh, which is now x.com. Uh, and please follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, we'll be talking to you after the earthquake in uh, San Francisco Bay again. Please be prepared for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay in the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. Thank you. This is Luke Tom Solmquist here at quickprediction.com.